Hello everyone and welcome to the Google Hitwise webinar. Today we're going to go through the top Hitwise reports used by Google using ASOS as an example. We'll be covering the Hitwise methodology and where we get our data from, the rankings module which is used to benchmark competitors, and the clickstream module which looks at user journey. So things such as where does the traffic come from and go to after leaving a website? And then lastly, we'll take a look at search intelligence, which focuses on search performance, which is useful for things such as SEO, PPC and content creation. These reports can be used across different verticals, so feel free to let us know if you'd like a tailored training session to your industry, or if you'd just like to go through any of the other reports. Starting off with the HITWISE methodology. HITWISE data is collected from a sample of 3 million internet users within the UK. These users have consented to having their data anonymously tracked through the terms and conditions of downloading various internet software tools. These can be things such as antivirus software and other web applications. The 3 million sample is filtered to remove duplications and any personal information. The data is then aggregated and categorised into different industry type families. And then we use sophisticated weightings to project the number up to be representative of the UK online population. We use sources such as the Office of National Statistics to make sure the data is evenly replicated across the whole UK population. Essentially, HITWISE looks at competitive intelligence to understand what the online population does in terms of their clickstream, what websites they're coming from and where they're going to, and also the search terms they're using to get onto websites. Before beginning the reports, it's important to know how to build your custom industries, which are your personalised competitive sets, and also the search term portfolios, which are those collection of keywords. To create these lists, click on Custom List tab at the top of the page and you have the option to create your custom industries and search term portfolios. All you have to do is type in a title of your list, click Create, and then either manually enter the URL or keywords into the list, or you can upload a CSV file of a maximum of 300 URLs or 50,000 search terms. There is no limit to the number of custom industries or search term portfolios that you can have in your access. The first module we're going to cover is rankings. This looks at performance benchmarking in terms of traffic to a particular industry. Within the platform, we have predefined industries as well as your custom industries. An example of a HITWISE pre-built industry is shopping and classifieds. This is a parent industry and under that, we have broken out sub-industries, which can include, for example, things such as apparel and accessories. Looking at the screen, we can see that there are 2,424 websites categorised under apparel and accessories. Depending on what your cl client you're working with, building out a custom industry may be more relevant so you can compare your client on a more like-for-like -like basis. Looking at the report panel, the report type is rankings. We then go in and select the industry under subject and choose your industry from the drop down. In this case, it's a power and accessories. And then we select our metric, period, and end date. In this case, we've gone for weekly and the most recent week. This is useful when you're adding reports to a dashboard. So when in the dashboard, the report is set to automatically refresh to the most recent period. The report can also be run on a daily or monthly basis. As you can see from the report, Next ranks as number one in the apparel and accessories industry with 7.6 million total visits. This equates to 6.25% of all visits to the apparel and accessories industry. You can replicate this report with your own custom industry and all you have to do is click on industry drop down and select your chosen industry and regenerate the report. What we can do from a rankings report is see how this trends over time. To generate this, tick the relevant 
tick boxes next to the websites. Click on chart and update chart. You can chart up to 10 different websites at a time. Once you ge generate that, this will take you down to the updated chart below the report, which shows you the selected websites trended over time. You can change the metrics of the chart by clicking on the drop down to change it to trend by total visits instead. You also have access to three years of data, so you're able to trend this for a longer period of time by clicking on the box under period or selecting a different time frame using the custom dates button. These reports and charts can all be added and saved into a dashboard by clicking on add to dashboard button. And using the most recent end dates will ensure the reports will update based on the period you set in the reporting. The dashboards save you from having to run these same reports each time you need to refer to them. You can also export any of these reports and charts using the export button above. This can either be exported as a CSV file or an image for charts. The next module we're going to look at is at the Clickstream module, which looks at upstream and downstream traffic to a selected industry or website. The report we're going to look at is the upstream industry report, and this can help to see the difference in share of clicks from search engines to Topshop and ASOS. This helps us show which competitor relies more on traffic from search engines, whether this is paid or organic traffic. The report will also help to show which channels Topshop rely on most and where they're receiving a larger share of traffic from when compared to ASOS. To build this report, choose Clickstream, select Website in the subject and type in the URL. Choose Upstream Industries to show the channels driving traffic to Topshop. Then go in and open up the Compare tab and leave everything the same as above except changing the website URL to ASOS. And in the Filters tab, we've chosen to look at sub-industries only in the grouping. This is because parent industries are more top level than sub-industries. For example, Computers and Internet is a parent industry and channels like search engines and email services are sub-industries within the computer industry. Looking at this report, the click share column is showing us the percentage of traffic coming from that specific channel. So for example, for Topshop, in this selected time period, is receiving 37.58% of their traffic from search engines while only 33.76% of ASOS traffic is coming from search engines. The report is ranked by which channels are driving more traffic to Topshop. Therefore, we can see other channels at the top that Topshop is more reliant on than ASOS. The last module we'll be looking at is Search Intelligence, which looks at search performance for a particular website or industry. The first report we'll be looking at is the website search share. This is a good performance benchmarking report looking at the share of search clicks. This report will show you where your client's website ranks within a selected industry in terms of search traffic rather than all traffic. Mm -hmm. To generate this report, this is within the search intelligence report. Select industry and choose your industry from the drop down. Select website search share from the report drop down. In the metrics, you can choose to look at share of paid clicks, share of organic clicks, or just search clicks, which is a combined view. Select your period and end date and generate the report. The report shows that ASOS ranks as number one, receiving 4.41% share of all search clicks to the apparel and accessories industry and then next receiving 4.34% of search clicks, and so on. Another useful part of this report is the paid versus organic rate column, which shows what percentage of website clicks came from paid and what percentage came from organic. Essentially, this is showing how competitors acquire their search traffic. So someone like Next relies on organic traffic, while competitors like JD Williams relies heavily on paid clicks. 
We can then dive in to see what terms are driving more traffic to a competitor than ASOS. The subject option gets changed to website. We then go in and type the competitor's URL and the report type changes to search terms. Choose your metric, period and end date again. Then open up the compare tab, leaving everything the same as above except putting ASOS in the URL and generate the report. The report will be ranked by search terms that are driving more traffic to Topshop in this example compared to ASOS. There'll be a lot of branded terms coming up on the top of the report. So to remove these, you can add in the filters tab to include or exclude terms to make it more specific. You can either include or exclude certain words by typing them in and using comma between the words. And you can include or exclude certain lists of terms using the portfolios drop down. This will give a more refined view of dress terms driving more traffic to Topshop than ASOS. It will also exclude all ASOS and Topshop brand terms, where you see an NA under ASOS like formal dress. These are terms that aren't driving any traffic to ASOS, hence showing the keyword gap analysis. By changing the metrics to pay clicks, you can also see what terms are driving more pay traffic to your client's competitors and this can indicate what terms to bid on. Moving on to the last report, we can use our search term portfolios that we built out to see the downstream websites from these portfolios. Essentially, this is looking at which websites people are going to after searching for any of the terms in the portfolio. Looking at this example, we've used the dresses portfolio in the report panel, change the subject to portfolio, choose your portfolio from the drop down and change the report to downstream websites. Choose your metrics, period and end date and generate the report once again. The results on the right show that there are 215 websites receiving traffic from the terms in the portfolio and next receive the biggest share. They received 9.35% of all search clicks from this portfolio. You have the paid and organic rate as well to show how each competitor acquired those search clicks. For example, someone like Monsoon has a paid rate of 67.13%, suggesting that they may have a higher spend on PPC for dress terms. By changing the metrics to look solely at paid clicks or organic clicks, you can then chart this over time to see how competitors are increasing their spend and receiving a higher paid share of traffic or optimising their website and receiving a higher organic share of traffic. This is also useful to look on a product level to see where the market share for each competitor on a category level or to also see who is bidding on what the terms that your client is as well. That's the end of today's webinar. Hopefully it's been useful for everyone to have a refer back to. As I mentioned earlier, we can schedule individual training that's more specific to your industry. Please let me know if you have anything else that you'd like to be set up, or if you have any other questions, feel free to email Sam or Mandy with any of those questions. Thank you.